and welcome to another edition of A Shave and a Song. Glad you're all here today. Hey, if you've come across this page because you were searching for a shaving video, this is going to be a shaving video. You'll be able to see me shave with a straight razor uh, and, and uh, you'll be able to maybe pick up some techniques or just enjoy watching uh, people shave. I know there's a lot of videos out there that do that. So if you've come here because you're, you want to see a straight razor shave, this is a place. If you've come here because you were searching for a particular song that you wanted to hear and uh, all of a sudden you're watching this guy shave, hang on, this is the place too. This is a shave and a song. It's kind of a, an eclectic show where we get together once a week. We try to get together once a week, not only having to do something that uh, is necessary on a daily basis, which is uh, proper grooming, shaving, uh, but also have some fun with it, play some music while we're doing it. And, and my whole purpose of this show is to introduce you to some songs or artists that, that maybe you haven't heard before, or maybe you have heard before, but it really hasn't uh, made airtime on the radio, or maybe you haven't heard it in a long time. So it's a fun little show. If you are interested in just jumping right to the song, there will be a link to do so in the description. Just click on, uh, click on that link and it'll take you right to the song. But I hope you stick around. I hope that you uh, enjoy the, uh, the, the program today. And let's get started. Let's see. It is, we're, we're already halfway, well, th three quarters of the way, maybe, uh, through the month of May. And, um, you know, we've had ups and downs in weather. Man, it's been really nice and warm out. And then yesterday it was kind of cool and chilly out. And hopefully today will be a little better. So in honor of summer, I know is coming soon. I'm going to be uh, shaving with Barrister and Man First Snow. It's a fur, <laughs> I know, it's a fur and leather uh, fragrance. So I'll be shaving with that. I'll finish off again with Barrister and Man First Snow. I've, I've already put some of the bloom water on as I was getting ready this morning. And uh, definitely you can smell uh, the fir trees. I like the smell. So we're going to build the lather up and in the old dish before transferring to my scuttle. Hope you're all doing well today. So let's get started. You know, as uh, for those of you who have uh, been with me for a while, you know that we talk about the song, talk about the artist a little bit. Uh, and the, uh, during the first pass, there's three passes when you're shaving with a straight razor. And so during the first pass, we're talking about the song. Second pass, we actually play the song. And then the third pass is kind of a wrap up. So as I'm building the uh, lather in the brush, making sure I get a lot of lather. Barrister and Man, I never have any problems building lather. It just goes to town right away. And so I take the excess that kind of spills over the, the container and I put it in my scuttle. And uh, now I'll just kind of whip it up in the scuttle, leave it a little more. There we go, that looks good. Kind of rinse my hands a little bit before doing that. So today I want to introduce you to an artist that honestly I don't know a whole lot about. He's kind of a local artist, regional artist, maybe maybe known to people in his regional area that he lives in. At least I would assume so because he's talented enough that I'm sure he's playing somewhere local venues and whatnot. His name is Mark Bauer. Not to be confused with Mark Bowers, with an S on the end. Uh, he is a pianist. And that is not who we are referring to today. We are referring to Mark Bauer, singular. <coughs> and uh, again, I don't know a lot about Mark Bauer. I kind of discovered him on accident. By the way, I am uh, shaving with my Dobo 6 eighths with customized zebra, sca uh, zebra wood scales. So again, I came across Mark Bauer on accident. I was just uh, going through kind of a uh, Beatles phase, I guess. Everybody does every now and then. And I was really in the mood to hear the song Dear Prudence. I don't know why, I can't remember why. So I was searching for Dear Prudence and you know, as you do on YouTube, you'll, you'll see a lot of selections for a piece of music that you are 
wanting to find, and especially if it's been uh, a song by a, a really well-known artist or group, there'll be a lot of covers out there as well. And you know what? Mark Bauer was a cover. So I took a chance. You know me. I'll roll the dice on just about anything on YouTube. And, and I took a chance, and I clicked on it, and I listened to it. And it was really good. Really, really good. It's, it's nothing like the original, which pleased me a lot. There's nothing, unless you're, unless you are like the original artist and you can really pull off the way they did it. I mean, you know what I mean. We, we hear a song that, that, uh, that speaks to us or that, that we grew up with or something, and, and that version gets ingrained in us. And anybody else who tries to cover it, it's just like, eh. Well, Mark Bauer did a, a, a cover, and it's a self-described description of a mountain version, mountain version of Dear Prudence, and it really became one of my favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and start the first pass, and then we'll kind of talk as we go. I've really been getting some fantastic shaves lately. Just because as I go along and do this, I started this last November with a straight razor. I'm getting the hang of really stretching my face in different ways, and that makes all the difference in the world. All the difference in the world. So anyway, it's a mountain version, and you'll understand why when you hear it. So. It's, it doesn't really resemble, oh, I mean it does, but, but it's, its, own, it's its own song, and I appreciate that. So I believe, in trying to research Mark, there's not a lot out there. He came out with one CD, one album, that you can find on various places, like uh, CD Baby, cdbaby.com is where I found it. Um, he does have a website, but there's almost nothing on it. It just points you basically back to his YouTube channel. Which consists mainly of um, a lot of original numbers and also some a few covers. I'm making some assumptions that I think he lives somewhere in Colorado, but I'm not 100% sure of that. And if you, uh, if you find his work on cdbaby.com, he's described, his playing style is described as easy listening, finger style, new age, um, and that's about it. And you know what? That's okay. I don't need to know a whole lot about him. All I need to know is that I enjoy how he plays. I mean, I appreciate his music. I'm sure he's probably regionally known because like I said he's a very very talented person as you'll as you'll hear
And his YouTube channel, like I said, consists of a lot of original pieces. He's, he's really into alternate tunings, meaning, you know, uh, tuning the strings on the guitar to um, differently than the standard tuning. And uh, I always enjoy that, uh, listening to somebody who's mastered that. Michael Hedges was a huge alternate, turning, alternate tuning individual. And as I said before, I'm sure that he's, he's probably playing locally somewhere, wherever it is he lives, and people know who he is. I'm sure of that. Um, I would be surprised if he's not. Let's, let's put it that way, because he's very talented. And although I love the rest of his stuff that he does on his YouTube channel, and I could have chosen anything to play by him, and, and it would have been great to feature, I did choose his cover of Dear Prudence just because that's how I found him. And that's how I discovered the artist Mark Bauer. So you know Dear Prudence from the 1968 Beatles album, The White Album. A song about Prudence Farrow, sister to Mia Farrow. They were the Beatles and she, or at least John Lennon and um, George Harrison, maybe Paul McCartney, were with the Maharaji in the 60s trying to seek enlightenment and prudence was there and she became really really obsessed with the meditation so much that so that she didn't interact very much with the rest of the group so they wrote a song about her dear prudence and i think it's a great cover like i said it's a cover that stands on its own i'm not one that really oohs and ahs over covers that other people do, like I said, because you, you know how it goes. We, we judge people based upon the original, and, and a lot of times that they just don't, uh, they're just not able to compete. But Mark Bauer's version, his cover is, it's fantastic, and it stands on its own, I think. I think it's, it's really great, uh, because he has tremendous musical ability, and it's a mountain version, so... Uh, here we go. Let's um, let's go ahead and do a little Mark Bauer. Let me start the second pass. Mark Bauer's Dear Prudence. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
cover that it kind of stands on its own and you really don't compare it with the original Beatles version? Maybe you don't. I don't know. It's just my opinion and it's subjective. When you're searching for him on YouTube, I think it's like Mark Bauer Music for the Head. I'll see if I can put a link to his uh, YouTube channel in the description. Like I said, he's got some beautiful original pieces too. A lot of instrumentals. I mean, he, uh, he he's, he's just a talented individual. So I would invite you to check him out. Listen to some of his stuff. It's great, easy listening music, um, relaxing. You can't be in a bad mood when you listen to it. I suppose you could, but. And he's a great example of why you should always take a chance when you're searching through music, you know, to find that, you know, maybe you, you want to find that video uh, that shows how old I am. You know, videos were still a thing when I was growing up. Well, they were actually new when I was growing up. Or you're looking for that song by your favorite artist and a cover pops up like they will you've seen them take a chance roll the dice click on a cover version of a song see how it goes you may strike out and you also may find a hidden gem as I think I did with Mark Bauer 
the point is, don't be afraid to take a risk, take a chance. Life is definitely meant to be lived. Life is meant to be enjoyed. And I think music is a huge part of that. The arts, the arts of any kind, are just as critical, in my opinion, of, of being something that makes up who we are as sciences and, and mathematics. I always found it sad when they discontinued the arts programs first in school because of budget cuts. And I always said, great, you can teach someone, you can teach a kid how to add two plus two, but now he doesn't know what to do with that information because you took away the creativity with the arts. You need them both. They are so important. So anyway, that's my, that's my small high horse for the day. So we're finishing it up. Um, let me, as always, we always, always clean the, uh, clean the blade. I put a little uh, alcohol on a on a cute uh, cotton ball swab, and then I just clean the blade, just lightly, lightly go over it. That, like I said, if you've been watching a while, you you see me do this, you know that it not only cleans the blade, but it also gets any excess moisture off the blade, so it dries well. All right, so let's finish it up with some Barrister and Man First Snow Fur and Leather Fragrance. So we'll smell like wintertime today. Here we go. Oh, I like that. Make sure we get it all nice and rubbed in there and it'll last. Gotta love it. And then, as always, you never see me do this, um, but I also finish it off with a little Panade Club Men talcum powder. Love that stuff, too. There we go. Had a great shave today. Nice and smooth. Had a beautiful uh, piece of music today by Mark Bauer, Dear Prudence, his cover from the 1968 The White Album by The Beatles. I hope you enjoyed it. Go check him out. Until next time, live life, everybody, and happy shaving.